Commander, sorry I'm a little unfocused. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. If it affects my crew, it's my business. Sir, I don't want to distract from our mission, especially if it turns out to be nothing. But... Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. It's only a waste of time if you jerk me around. What is it? My father was first officer on a ship that went missing ten years ago. I had not talked to him for three years prior. His ship, the Hugo Gernsback, sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and a request for rescue. Just like that, out of the black. Now, I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. I think you'd be more excited that your father might be alive. He wasn't around enough for me to have bad memories. It's an old, well-healed wound. But if he's actually alive and needs help... I also want to note that it's not normal procedure for distress calls to be routed to the Normandy. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. Any signs that this is a Cerberus front? Who passed this to you? I doubt the elusive man would let a direct operation stake hold this long. If there's a link, it's probably just about money. Cerberus needs diverse holdings to fund projects like, well, you. And whoever sent this my way covered their tracks. Someone could be fishing for favors, or thought it would get under my skin. Who knows with that bunch. You didn't get along with your father? He made no apologies, I'll give him that. You make a mistake, you own up to it. Even if you keep making it. Whatever problems we had were a lifetime ago. I've had ten years to get to where I am. And as far as I know, he's still a ghost. Tell me about the Hugo Gernsback and what it was doing. Privately held frigate. I looked over the mission brief when it disappeared. Nothing stood out. Typical research and grab operation. Find an uncharted planet, stake a claim, and establish as large a presence as you can as fast as possible to shut out competitors. Forward the coordinates to Joker, but a ten-year-old wreck isn't really an emergency. Of course. I'm having trouble taking it seriously myself. But still, if we get a break, I'd like to close off any doubt. you received a new message at your private terminal. I saw the reports on Horizon, Commander. What you did was amazing. The report mentioned that Caden Alenko was there. How did that go? It was good to see him. Do you have strong feelings for him? Would it bother you if I did, Kelly? No, I'm just making sure my commander isn't going bonkers. It's not like I'm trying to be a friend. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? That'll be all. Take care. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Uh, some other time. About to test new bioweapon. Not on us, of course. Didn't think I had to specify, but Joker got nervous. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Hey. I picked up a lot of resources. Can you use them to help against the Collectors? I figured out those L5Xs. Consider yourself lucky. It's not like I keep a library of this shit around. Tell me something I don't know about you. Nothing to tell. Why? Because that's how this works. My ship, my rules. Got it. Just another boss man wanting to get into my head. I know the drill. Something you don't know, huh? Obvious stuff, like what's up with my ink, or something else just as boring. You're not really interested unless it affects you. I've been through all this shit before. You're a hard person to like, Jack. Really? I had no idea. 
What other amazing insights do you have that I'm too stupid to see? You work pretty hard at not letting people get close. I've been with lots of people. If you're asking about a boyfriend or a girlfriend, no. It's a waste of time and it never works. You let someone get that close, it just means they need a shorter knife. Lonely and alive works just fine, thanks. Seems like you miss it a little more than you want to admit. Pick every little word apart if you want, but it doesn't change the way the galaxy works. Come on, you've been around. I'll bite. What's with the tattoos? Some are for prisons I've been in. Some are for kills. You know, good ones. Some are for things I've lost. Those aren't your business. They're nobody's business. And some are because, hey, why the fuck not? You're tough. But you can't have survived alone all these years. When I was starting out, I ran with this girl Minara and her boyfriend. They knew their way around. I thought they'd help me. <laughs> right. They helped me into their bed. And when we finally did take down something big, they helped themselves to my share of the take. I knew where it was heading. And I got them first. Never bothered with friends after that. They sound like selfish pricks. That doesn't mean they were gonna kill you. I get feelings. I don't need proof. I did the smart thing. I always do the smart thing if people fuck with me. That's probably something you should remember. I have to go, but we should do this again. Wait, my turn with the questions. People usually walk by now. Why are you really asking all these things? What's your game, Shepard? I've never met anyone like you. Whatever, it'll come back to what you can take. It always does. Later, Shepard. Shepard. Just checking in. Making sure you're acclimatizing. The hold is too open. Not enough cover. Armor is limited. Warlord Granth would target here to scatter heavy cargo, then focus on engines. That's what tank imprints show about human ships, anyway. It's how I learned from the tank. Old pictures where memory is. Like holding a book for a child. Just remember this, picture after picture. No help with finding a reason to care. What other human info's floating around in there? Less than a finger deep to sever your spine. You're soft. Salarians, Sasari, all soft. Quarians, not so much. Turians, you have to work the blade, I guess. Don't see much point to it, though. <laughs> much point. <laughs> uh, never mind. What did Okir want you to feel about this stuff? Hate. But the pictures... The aliens in them, they don't do anything. I see blood, craters, but so what? My guts were grown from a thousand more worthy. The dead were weak. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. I don't know why Okir started teaching. When he turned on the tank the first time, I screamed. Weak, pitiful. You're the perfect Krogan. Can you live up to that, or will this crap drag you down? I was built to be the strongest, but maybe weak moments inspire. That seems strange. I need to think, but I am still strong. Say the word and your enemies die. That's enough for you. For more. Tough fight on Horizon. I fought slavers and kidnapping rings, but nothing like that. Some slavers took a little girl on a colony in the Skepsis system. Girl woke up, fought her way out, got picked up by my band well on her way to Omega. Eight years old. She'd have had no chance on Horizon. I knew this girl once, Asari. Good head on her shoulders. 
We had this whole thing going until she sold me out to the blood pack. Put a sour note on the relationship. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Hey, Shepard. Edie has a wicked sense of humor. Or I should say, a really funny lack of one. Sometimes she seems like a person. But when it comes down to it, I can't get past her being a computer. This one security guy keeps staring at me. I think his name is Bert. I'm used to being watched by security, but they're usually staring at my eyes or watching my hands. I might have to start cloaking through the CIC from now on. I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Shepard. I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. What's going on? You remember what I told you about Father? Building a dynasty? There was another reason I went to Cerberus for protection. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. So you think your father's tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. What do you know about your sister? She's my genetic twin. We're identical. But she deserves a normal life, and she's going to get it no matter what. Did your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know nothing. They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus, and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nos Astra docking bay.